YouTube streaming. That's where everyone's going. So today we're gonna have a look at how to get the crispiest streams possible. Will you make the move? Right, quick one first of all. Thank you to all the subscribers I've got so far and for everyone who's been watching the videos, really appreciate it. Second thing I want to quickly mention is we're looking at streaming on YouTube at 1440 because this will guarantee you the VP9 encoder. YouTube have got two encoders and they use AVC, I think the one is, which is their older encoder, which you'll find on most 1080p streams. But if you use 1440p as a resolution, you will get the VP9 encoding, which definitely gives your streams a good boost. So try this method. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, then we'll have to look at some other things to get that crispiness in. Right then, we're just gonna go for it. We're not gonna do it, spend too much time talking. So what we're gonna start off with is, what you need to do is go straight to YouTube Studio. You wanna go and click on the go live button. Like so, then what you wanna do is you want to go to your stream key. As you can see, I've already got 1440p set up. You click create a new stream key, call it whatever you want, test uh, 1440p, and, and then so that's near enough you're done. Now what you need to do now is go to turn on manual settings. See, you can even stream 4K as well, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 1440p, six to 13 megabytes is what you need minimum to get the 1440p, and then we're gonna turn on the 60 frames per second option. That's all you need to do in there. Make sure you copy your stream key and we're gonna take this over to OBS now and do the rest in there. Now we're over in OBS and this is quite the, the easiest bit really. Go to file, go to settings. First of all, you wanna go and copy your stream key that you've just made into here and paste it there. You then wanna go down to video and make sure that you set to 1440. Settings exactly here. 1440 is supposed to work for everyone even if you've got 1080 i have been told but don't quote me on it don't come shouting at me if it doesn't work but 1080 is supposed to be upscaled to 1440 and still look crisp the difference with youtube compared to twitch is you can change your decoding option so you can go from a 1440 all the way down to 720 480 and below so if your internet is struggling to keep up with a 1440p stream you you're guaranteed the transcoding where on Twitch you're not. So if someone, if a streamer sets his bit rate at 6KB, you're stuck to that if he hasn't got the transcoding. YouTube, everyone's got it. So definitely give this a try. So we've set our video. We've copied our stream curver. Now to the output. I have started, well, I started at 15KB um, bit rate because that was, I, that was recommended at 15 to start with and then I've moved my way up slow to see if there's any difference. So I'm still trialing and erroring whether those bit rates make that much of a difference. So try whatever you want. As YouTube recommended, six to 13,000 is there recommended. So try those. If you haven't got a good enough upload speed, then you might have to stick with 1080, but give this one a try first and then move up and down in increments. But I wouldn't go much above 20,000 because I've been told that it doesn't really make a difference, but I am still learning. So I will update you guys in the future. And once you've done that, hit OK. And you're away. All your streams now will be in 1440. And that's it guys, that's all you need to do. Give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think and are you moving to YouTube? Are you staying on Twitch? What are you doing? Please come and tell us. The other thing I will say is they have now released an add-on with OBS, which now allows you to connect direct to YouTube through a, their update. So instead of having to go to the YouTube studio on an internet browser and set it all that way, you can now do it through OBS. However, I'm not using this method yet because you can't put your own thumbnails in and you, there's still a lot of certain bits you can't do. So I'm still using mine through the YouTube studio. If, however, there are guys out there who are using the new integration uh, with the YouTube studio, then all you need to do is make sure your resolution is set to 1440 and that should take it straight out with no problems. So I hope this video helps. If it does, leave a comment down below. Drop a like on the video, why not? It's free. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you around soon.